Yeah, I'm back. This your boy Gordis. Here's the New York Knicks tutorial how to play online. Well, the first up is Carmelo Anthony. Need I say more? He's the shooter. He's going to be your first offensive player. Make sure you practice this uh, fadeaway back down. Eventually, this ball is going to go in, but Carmelo is your man, your first primary scorer, and the last man to have the ball. You see me posting up, right? Leaning back, got him for an easy dunk. Melo is your man, man. Your second primary score is going to be Amari Stoudemire because he's going to be in your starting lineup. You know he could hit that three and a J. Well, make sure you practice this post move, man. And you make sure you pump fake. That's a glitch in this game. I don't know what it is, but a pump fake will get you two points almost all the time. And make sure you hit that fadeaway. Well, Jason Kidd is up next. You don't want him dribbling that much. He shoots threes and jumpers. He's a great assist man. Well, Chandler's up next. You know he can hit that jumper, but I won't recommend it. Because you know he won't make it all the time. <laughs> well, J.R. Smith coming off the bench. You're going to need him. You know he fire. He's a playmaker. He shoots all around. Nice. Well, Raymond Felton. He's uh he's injured right now, but he'll be back. But you're gonna need him to score all your points. Basically, well Ronnie Brewer is gonna be in your starting lineup. You don't want him doing all that. He just shoots Jay. Marcus Campus, you know he can hit that. That's where you gotta practice that. But I won't shoot with him unless I'm under the basket. Look at Novak. Look at all these red marks, man. This guy could shoot, he can't dunk, he can't lay up, but he could shoot the basket. Kurt Thomas, well, he's an old man, but look at all these red shots. He can make a lot of shots for you, man. Pablo, here comes Pablo, man. He got a nice dribble. He could pass the ball, and he also could hit the J sometimes. But Copeland is up next. This guy could dunk, defense, three-point, jump shot. He's a great man. James White could pop that three, so if he's open, make sure you pass it to him, man. Last but not least, here comes the free throws. Everybody in your team, you need to practice this because it's big. I'm going to let you know why at the end of this tutorial. The hardest one is Tyson Chandler. Make sure you swish it all the time because the way you swish, that means you got this thing perfect down pack. And all the players that you have in trouble with, you're going to make it easier for you when it's clutch time. Well, let's get on to the plays. Swift 41 fist with Raymond Felton. Just a quick pick and roll by Stoudemire and a quick J. Well, let's run this back. I'm going to run it down and I'm going to wait for Stoudemire to cut for easy alley-oop. But one delayed chest is going to challenge this time. It's not going to Stoudemire, but it's going to the left and Raymond Felton is an easy shot. Let's run this again. Here comes the left. If uh, channel is open, you hit him with an alley-oop. Well, let's take it on to the practice field. You see Chandler with the pick and hit him with an alley-oop. You know he could get that. Yeah, keep your head up. Make sure you see the whole field. Well, let's get on to the end wide horn cutter. It's going to Brewer for easy J. Quick screen by Chandler and start him out. Let's take it on to the practice field and practice for real. Chandler has the ball. Make sure you back down to avoid the defense knowing what you're doing. And Brewer's going to be wide open for easy three. Well, let's get on to Carmelo plays. It's an end wide hole cutter, similar play to Brewer. But Carmelo is a more effective. You saw how open he was. Let's run this play. The end wide cutter. You see Melo wide open. Quick screen by Felton. And start him off for easy jump shot. Let's take it to the field. You see Stoudemire backing down, wait for Anthony to cut. Boom, that's all he needs. That's all the space he needs because you know Carmelo could knock it down. Well, let's run this play again. Don't pass the challenge this time. Felton's going to do a little move. Pass it to Melo for an easy three-point shot. Let's take it onto the practice field again. You see uh, Felton with the ball, just waiting for Melo to cut. Hit him in, the, in stride for an easy three. Well, let's get on to the edge cutter. It takes a while here. It's for three screens, and Melo's going to cut all the way over. 
for an easy jump shot. He's going to be open half of the time. Let's do this again. But Melo is going to go left now because you see the defense got him covered. And he's going to hit that jump shot all day. But these plays I'm telling you run are the best possible play for the Knicks. It's quick. It's easy and effective. But let's get on to the metal play. Base screen ISO. It's a quick screen by Stoudemire. Melo is going to be open for a three. Let's take it on to the field. You see Melo wide open again. That's all he needs. It's a little space. Make sure you quick with your shot. Well, next up is Amari Stoudemire. He only has one play that I like that is effective. It's a quick screen. He's going to go to the middle of the foul line and get an easy shot. You see how open he was? Make sure you practice his J. Well, let's get on to J.R. Smith, Floppy Miller. That takes a while, but he's going to go around the screen. Give it back to Felton. He's going to go back around and hit him up with a three-point shot. He'll be open. You got to be quick, though. Let's do it again. Floppy Miller. This time, I'm just going to pass it right here for a quick shot. It's going to be broken play, but if he's open, you take the shot. Right here. See that? He's going to be open right away for easy shot. Well, let's get on to one of my favorite plays. It's a three floppy. You got to go mellow. Or to J.R. Smith, this time I'll go to J.R. Smith for easy three-point shot. Let's take it on for real. I got the D. I got the screen. J.R. Smith with the shot. I should have shot it quicker, but he still made it. Let's do this again. You see, I'm going to pass it to Melo this time for easy three-point shot. Quick. You got to be real quick. Let's do it again right here. You see Melo wide open. Shoot it for the contested three. But you know Melo can knock it down in front of everybody well next play up is 12 option it's a quick run around for a jr smith three well let's bring it on to real time you see i'm waiting patiently waiting for jr smith to cut you see the good screen by chandler for the wide open three by smith you know he can knock it down well next play up is hawk invert it takes a little bit but you see the quick screen by chandler and start him out you know jr smith is knocking down all the time well, let's run this in the practice field. You see, I'm patiently waiting. J.R. Smith cuts wide open, no contest, and let's do it. Now we're ready to go online. Well, first pl play up is uh, Brewer got the ball. You see Melo cross over, and he's wide open for a three. That's all the space he needs. Well, let's take a look at this play. Got him with the pump fake. I established myself. I know how to shoot for easy J. Two points, baby. Next play up is Kid calling for a play, a pick by Stoudemire. Mello's wide open for the easy J. You saw that? That was beautiful. Well, Stoudemire has the ball, gives it to Kid, back to Mello with the pump fake, got him in the air, and for an easy lane dunk, man. Well, let's get the ball to J.R. Smith. Back to Mello. I see Mello bringing in the whole D to him. You see J.R. Smith back to the spot for a wide open three-point shot. Yeah, well, next play up, you see Kurt Thomas, all eyes on him, but Stoudemire is open for the easy corner jumper. Easy. Ha, ah, nice. Jumper got the ball. Three seconds left. You see Brooke Lopez reach in. Don't leave J.R. Smith open because he's going to bang that all the time. Well, next play up, J.R. Smith for the pump fake. He know I can shoot. And here comes the easy layup to the basket. Well, y'all with me so far? Well, here's Stoudemire posting up. You know I practice that in practice mode. That's how I got so good. Well, that was easy. Well, next play up. You see Novak wide open for a three. Don't leave him open, please, because nobody's going to drop that all the time. Well, next up, inbound play. You see Melo all in the corner for an easy three. You cannot stop that. Well, let's get on to the next play. Pablo has the ball. I'm going to isolate. I'm going to drive down, wait to channel cut. You see him cut for the easy layup. Beautiful, man. Just wait for the cut, and you'll see him. Well, let's get on to a similar play. Pablo's driving down. You see wide open Kurt Thomas for the unnecessary layup. He should have just dunked it. I don't know why he did that. <laughs> well, hit your free throws, and you'll be all right. In this game, I won by 10 points, and I shot 10 free throws, and I was perfect. That's why you got to practice your free throws. Well, that concludes the next tutorial. I'm going to end it off with a J.R. Smith 
off the backboard dunk. I'm out. Peace.